Welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is another ROM review for you guys. Uh, again, this is for the Nexus 6. And uh, this is the Pure Nexus Project by Beanstown Marshmallow. Uh, this is the second build, second or third build uh, for Marshmallow. But this is uh, the build uh, release date uh, October 30th. Um, and this is the one that has enough features in it that I felt uh, warranted a video release. Uh, or for me to at least go over and let you guys see what it looks like. So I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible uh, to appease some of the people out there that hate it when I go long on a video. But I do want to try to go over as much as I can. Uh, for right now, the settings on this, uh, the custom settings are not a lot. So this video should not be that long. Uh, again, this is for the Nexus 6, uh, build version 6.0. Um, uh, this is um, uh, build number MRA58K, and the build date is Friday, October 30th, and SE Linux permissive. Um, uh, system UI tuner and developer options come, um, they come on by default uh, right after you flash the ROM. So let's go right into system UI tuner. Uh, these are your quick settings. These are how you move your uh, tiles around if you so choose to do that. Uh, then you have your status bar uh, icons. You can choose what shows or what doesn't show in your status bar icons uh, by uh, turning on or turning off these toggles. Uh, developer options. Uh, developer options are pretty close to all of the other ROMs running out there right now. Um, but I'm going to go down through just to show you what's on them. I know that a, lot of, a lot of you people like to see that. Uh, Multi-window mode is right there. It is uh, in the area where your, where your transition animations, uh, windows animations, all that is. Uh, that's you, that, that is the normal spot for it uh, that I've found anyways. Uh, here's your accessibility features. Uh, I've been asked to please show these, so here they are. Uh, this is where you get that power button ends calls, which I've been looking for. Uh, so there it is. Um, of course, you can change your color inversions and stuff like that uh, in accessibility as well. Date and time, pretty standard. Uh, here's your language input. The only reason I bring this up is to show you that Android keyboard is AOSP. Uh, I haven't had any issues with it except for occasionally uh, it won't capitalize the first letter. Um, it's something stupid, something small. Uh, definitely not uh, a deal breaker for me. Uh, so I think it's working great. Uh, here is your Google Apps controls. You guys can go in here, change things about how Google works, how it functions. Um, again, if you guys are, if you want the full experience, of Marshmallow, you want to um, you want to enable all your features in Google. Um, under security, the uh, unknown sources is on by default. Location again, if you guys want to get everything out of your Google Apps, you want to set that at high accuracy. Um, Google Now on Tap does work, just so you guys know that. I know it's going to be asked, so I'm telling you now it does work. I'm having, I love it. Um, other than that, uh, let's see. Here's your memory management, which I love. Uh, it tells you what uh, is using up your RAM, and you can get in there and uh, go to find out what it is that is using all your RAMs, then go to apps and shut it down. Um, sound and notifications, other sounds, under display, uh, here's your where you would have on your ambient display and everything like that. Uh, under home, here's where you would change launchers. Super U does come uh, installed by default, um, along with Layers Manager. Uh, let's get into the Pure Nexus settings. Um, you press up here to access the settings. 
Uh, here are your uh, screen lock settings. Uh, bear in mind that with the updates, uh, there will come more uh, features added to this. But for right now, this is what you get. Uh, this is your no uh, notification drawer settings. Um, here are your status bar settings. Uh, you have your battery settings. Uh, you can actually colorize your battery. Thank you, Mr. Beans, for that. I am running the three-minute uh, mod, so I have that turned off. Clock and date. Thank you again, Mr. Beans, for allowing us to color that. Uh, I really like being able to color my status bar icons. And, of course, double tap to sleep. Under nav bars, um, he does not have any features in here to switch your nav bars around uh, to put your back button on the right as opposed to the left yet. Um, but hopefully with an update, it will get there. But here are your settings for that. Here's your nav bar settings for your uh, uh, your size. <coughs> Excuse me. Power menu options and there are quite a few options on a power menu. I like that. I keep hitting the back button and that doesn't take me into this. You have to hit that hamburger or the settings up top to get back into this. Volume rocker settings, which I don't touch. I use my volume rockers to turn the volume up and down, and that is it. Here are your display settings. Notifications. Under utilities, your clock settings. And last but not least, tools and info. Um, there's actually a lot of pretty useful information on this. Uh, those of you that like to tweak your uh, your build prop, uh, it has a built-in build prop editor here too, so that is nice. I just say back your back your stuff up before you uh, tweak it, and that's pretty much it. So that is the uh, the Pure Nexus. Um, custom settings panel. Uh, I kind of like the way they did it. Um, and this is going to be his format from here on uh, from here on out, I guess, for uh, Marshmallow. And that would pretty much conclude um, this uh, review or overview. Again, I am running the three-minute battery mod, and it got an update, the uh, three-minute battery settings. So it has changed for those of you running it. And yes, uh, they finally got it working on this uh, this ROM. You can thank B Door eleven oh five for that, um, and then of course uh, thank uh, uh, G Harrington uh, for actually developing this um, uh, this custom uh, mod. Uh, B Door eleven oh five actually ported it over to the Nexus six. So, uh, and if you want to change batteries, here's where you would go for all your batteries. Once you pick your battery, you would click on the settings or icon there, and you would either uh, change your size of your battery, make it bigger, smaller, um, you know, animations for charging are there. Um, and if you picked a colorable battery, uh, you would go back into settings and you would go to, uh, let's see here, uh, it won't show it because I don't have the colorable set, but and you can change the theme of the app, everything. So, I mean, it's great. Um, that's it, guys. Uh, I hope you liked the review. I tried to keep it as short as I, or as short as I could. Um, the ROM is super stable. Um, I am running the kernel that comes with the ROM. I'm running the Pure Nexus kernel in it. It's super. It's smooth as silk. Um, I'm not having any random reboots. I'm not having any um, system UI. Album. So I did one, but that was because of a theme I put on it, which was pretty funny because it was a theme that was built specifically for this ROM. Um, so, uh, but again, I'm running multi-ROM, so it could that could have something to do with it. So, so I hope you guys liked the uh, review. If you did, give it a thumbs up, guys. Uh, and I want to just thank everybody out there that has subscribed to me. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's uh, it's it's 
unbelievable, to be honest with you. I never thought anybody would subscribe to me. but um, And uh, I will see you on the next one.